Hello boys and girls, welcome to our children liturgy with Father Carpool. Let us pray. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And uh, when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Rejoice and receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven, and whose sins are retained are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We saw, we, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into the sign, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be in belief, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You have come to believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we are celebrating the second Sunday of Easter time. That is the most, the most important time for all of us because um, we believe that Jesus has defeated, has defeated that. What I'm trying to say defeated is that Jesus is alive and is alive among ourselves. Why? Because he is the Son of God. And uh, uh, the, this gospel says that the disciples, the first community of Jesus, they were afraid. And they were, you know, with the doors closed. Imagine, they were the first disciples of Jesus, so they lived with him more than 2,000 years ago. And they live with him, but at the same time, they, they have feared. They were afraid. That's because they don't feel secure. In our days, sometimes we, we feel fear. Or maybe you can see mom and dad, they are going through difficult moments. And then Jesus, that he goes beyond time and space, you know, the, 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 the gospel said that the, the doors were locked. And Jesus, imagine, he get into their midst. And the gospel says the disciples were so... Imagine when they see Jesus. I don't know, but I think some of them, they were crying out of joy. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. So he is the son of God. And they jump for joy because the gospel says... They were so happy. And now they have like, they have life in them. 
They have life in them. So the resurrection of Christ means that Jesus is the Son of God and He can appear. You know, it's not in time, it's not in space, but He can be part of our lives. And then Jesus says, peace be with you. And all of us who believe in Christ, one of the fruits, if you believe in Jesus, you need to be sign of peace. It could be possible. You spent a lot of time. All of us are spending a lot of time in our houses. And sometimes we can get mad. Why? Because, you know, we are not used to, to, to be together all the time. But if we believe in Jesus, and one of the fruits of, uh, of, of the resurrection, be sign of peace. Cooperate in your house. Try to do your chores. Try to help mom and dad. So mom and dad can say, oh, my children, they believe in the Christ that is, that is, uh, uh, that he's alive and he gave uh, them hope. And also I invite you to pray, but you say, for what things we can be praying? First, for, not, for uh, uh, nurses and doctors, that they are working very, very hard, and then for another people, you can ask to the resurrected Christ. You can tell him, you love life. You love life, Jesus, and you are alive. So give wisdom those who are working to find a cure for this illness. So you can pray for nurses, doctors, and you can say to Jesus from the bottom of your heart, you love life, Jesus. So give wisdom those who are working to find the cure for this illness. God is in favor of life, and God is life, and He's alive among us. Amen. Amen.